hello friends in this video we are going to discuss the potentiometer or the null deflector okay so on the screen you might be seeing the basic slide wire potentiometer and here it is the basic potentiometer circuit okay so before moving towards the basic slide wire potentiometer let us discuss what is the basic potentiometer circuit okay so strictly speaking the potentiometer is a instrument which is designed to measure an unknown voltage by comparing it with a known voltage are you getting the point okay so basic purpose is to measure the unknown voltage but how it measures by comparing it with a known voltage okay so here we are having the basic potentiometer circuit okay so here this two volt it is the reference voltage right this register indicated is nothing but your slide wire okay and here we have kept a scale okay next this is the sliding contact this contact we are going to move here okay here it is the galvanometer okay means we are going to move this sliding contact in such a way that yes till this galvanometer reaches the null deflection okay and vx is the unknown voltage okay so as you, as i said the potentiometer measures the unknown voltage by comparing it with a known voltage or the standard cell voltage okay so it is used to measure the unknown voltages accurately okay so are getting how it works here we are going to vary this sliding contact we are going to vary this sliding contact over this slide wire over the slide wire and at a particular point on the slide wire okay here the galvanometer shows the zero deflection okay next let us coming towards the basic slide wire potentiometer okay so here we are having the circuit diagram for the basic slide wire potentiometer right so here rh is the external rheostat right this rheostat we have connected in order to limit the working current in order to set the iw that is the working current okay vb is the reference voltage or the base voltage okay here we are having the slide wire okay so length of the slide wire we have considered it as a 101.86 cm okay so this is the length l of the slide wire okay next here i have shown the two voltage sources okay one is the vx second one is the vs vs is the known voltage okay and this is used for the standardization purpose and vx is the unknown voltage okay next here we are having the galvanometer right next the, here it is a sliding contact okay sliding contact and this is the slide wire okay the sliding contact is made up of yes copper plus gold plus silver okay copper plus gold plus silver so first let us note the terms associated with the basic slide wire potentiometer okay so here we are having the l that is the length of slide wire potentiometer l is nothing but length of slide wire potentiometer okay next l1 okay we have shown l1 also okay l1 is the length of slide wire at which the galvanometer is balanced with the standard cell voltage okay so it is the length of slide wire at which galvanometer is balanced balanced means galvanometer showing the zero deflection okay galvanometer is balanced okay with the standard cell voltage vs that is the known voltage okay so means when when this switch is connected to the position 1 okay at that time vs will be connected here okay in the circuit okay so here we are going to vary the slide wire contact over the slide wire okay and at a particular point on the slide wire okay where this galvanometer shows the zero deflection 
that corresponding length okay is nothing but the length l1 right next l2 l2 is the length of the slide wire at which the galvanometer is balanced with unknown emf or the unknown voltage vx okay so it is the same the only change is galvanometer is balanced with unknown emf with unknown emf okay vx with unknown emf vx okay so here if you check length l2 is for vx that is when switch is connected to the position 2 at that time vx will be in the picture okay so here again when vx will be connected that is when switch is at position 2 right at that time again we are going to vary the slide wire contact over the slide wire okay and a corresponding point on the slide wire at which the galvanometer shows the zero deflection okay corresponding to that the length is l2 we have considered okay next the working current okay so working current iw yes this is the iw which is a working current okay of the slide wire or the potentiometer okay so working current iw iw is equal to working current is nothing but okay it is equal to total voltage is vb okay if you check iw is flowing into this circuit okay iw is flowing into this circuit okay so here it is a vb divided by rheostat register plus length total register of the slide wire okay so if you check total length of the slide wire is l and the resistance of the slide wire is r ohm per centimeter okay so if you check total resistance of the slide wire is nothing but yes r ohm per centimeter into total length that is l into r okay so we can write it as vb upon rh plus l into r right l into r so here working current is nothing but vb divided by rh plus l into r okay so rh is nothing but the resistance of the rheostat okay right plus l into r is nothing but the this is the length of the slide wire and resistance of the slide wire in ohm per centimeter okay so l into r will give yes the total resistance of the slide wire okay so in this way we can find the working current next let us discuss what is the standardization as we said vs is used that is the known voltage is used for standardization okay so standardization yes so standardization is nothing but it is the process of adjusting the working current iw with the help of rheostat such that voltage drop across portion of slide wire is made equal to the standard cell voltage okay means basically here standardization is nothing but the adjustment of the working current iw with the help of rheostat okay and standardization is a process of converting the voltage in terms of centimeter scale okay so now suppose standardization and here we are having a calibration right so in the standardization we know vb that is the total voltage vb is equal to yes for standardization we are using vs actually right we are using vs so here instead of vb we need to write the vs is equal to yes working current iw into length l1 into r okay because vs when switch is connected to the position 1 means like this okay so vs is nothing but the potential difference between these two points again this point is connected here right and this point is connected here right so can we say that yes the potential difference between these two points is nothing but same as that of the vs okay so we can write vs is nothing but what yes working current okay working current into length of the slide wire length of the slide wire during or for the section l1 or for the length l1 okay so that's why we have written vs into 
Vs is equal to Iw into L1 into R. Okay. Now, when we vary this contact, okay, and at a particular point, this galvanometer shows the zero. Okay. So zero is nothing but current here is zero ampere. So definitely, if current here is Iw, right? So here it is Iw. So same current will flow here, Iw, right? So therefore, we can write Vs is equal to Iw into L1 into R. Okay. So therefore, Iw. Is equal to Vs upon L1 into R. Consider it as equation number one. Okay. And next, suppose when Vx is connected, known voltage Vx is connected, right? Then we know it is Iw and it balances at L2 length. Okay. So it should be Iw into L2 into R. So from this we can write Iw is equal to Vx upon L2 into R. Okay. Vx upon L2 into R, right? Once the standardization has been done, after that the working current kept constant. Okay, so therefore we can write from one and two, from one and two. Yes, we can write. Yes, Vs upon L1 R is equal to Vx upon L2 R. Okay, so from this we can write Vx. Therefore, we can write Vx is equal to Vs into L2 by L1 or L2 by L1 into Vs, right? L2 by L1 into Vs. This is the Vx we are having. Are you getting the point? Means we can find the unknown voltage, right? With the help of known voltage and the lengths, okay? Where it balances, okay? So, Generally, the potentiometer is used to measure the unknown voltages, okay? And also it is used for calibration of ammeter, voltmeter and wattmeters, okay? Calibration of ammeter, voltmeter and wattmeter, okay? So, so friends, this is about the potentiometer or the null deflector. Thank you.